Hello. There's been a lot of concern lately over cyber violence, and it's making a lot of people very upset. If you listen to these people, you would think that this is a serious, pressing problem that has made the internet uninhabitable for normal people, especially for women who, according to those spreading this idea, are weak and helpless and can't handle the rough and tumble of the internet. Don't panic. The vast and overwhelming majority of people online are just people, just like you, just like the people you know. We all know the occasional asshole in the real world, and we cope with them or cut them out of our lives and avoid them as much as possible. You can do the same thing online. Only, it's even easier. In the real world, you can't automatically block and ignore an annoying person. They can still talk to you. They can still phone you. Maybe they're friendly with people you do like, so you run into them at social functions. Online? No problem. You can just block and ignore them and never see or hear anything they say ever again. You will, of course, run into people with different points of view to you with different life experiences, with different understandings of information. This is a good thing. This is what, in a sense, the internet was made for, the exchange of ideas. Some people just seem to have difficulty being presented with alternative points of view and disagreement, but this requires an attitude adjustment, not censorship. Embrace and enjoy being disagreed with, Use it to see if your ideas stand up to scrutiny. Examine the evidence that people bring to you. Disagreement is not cyber violence. Even vociferous disagreement is not cyber violence. Structured and supported disagreement is certainly not cyber violence. Pointing out when you've done something wrong is not cyber violence. And if you think it's not correct, the courts already have a solution. Defamation and libel. Sometimes, though, you will run into something that is just abuse, or something that crosses the line. Don't panic. Even those people who are online assholes are mostly not any sort of real issue. Threats issued online are mostly trolling. Trolling is insincere abuse or make-believe extreme views, which are pretended to be held in order to cause a reaction. Perhaps one in a hundred people you meet online will be genuine assholes. Perhaps one in a hundred of those will be something worse than a troll. In the rare case that you find you have a genuine stalker, harasser or abuser, existing legislation, reporting systems and police actions are perfectly capable of dealing with it. Or would be if they weren't clogged up with time-wasting reports over mere disagreement. So, don't panic. When you do get an abusive or seemingly abusive online contact, first, ask yourself, is this really abuse or harassment? Is it merely disagreement? Are you getting lots of messages from one person or messages from lots of people? Did you say something genuinely offensive or controversial that people might take issue with? Are you being trolled? Check the abusive person's profile. Is it all the same kind of behavior? Has the account existed for a short amount of time? Who follows it? Who does it follow? What kind of things do they get up to? Can you block, ignore, mute or report the account if it's a troll or a genuine abuser? This is often a better solution. Are you sure that this person poses any sort of real threat? If you've been doxxed by an account, if it has made explicit threats to you or your family, that can seem scary. But the vast and overwhelming majority of the time, it's still just going to be someone being an idiot. Still, when it gets to that stage, you might want to think about reporting it to the authorities. Overreacting too early gives trolls what they want and makes the internet a worse environment for everyone because you're feeding and encouraging them and creating an environment in which trolls can thrive and get what they want. Whatever you do, do not make a public fuss about these people. For trolls, that's exactly what they want. For genuine abusers, it might spook them, making them harder to catch. 
either simply ignore them and go about your business, or report them and go about your business as though they weren't there. The internet has been the greatest free expression advance since the invention of the printing press, and it's important that we safeguard that for everyone. That may mean learning to deal with a little disagreement and abuse from time to time, but that's a small price to pay for free communication, free expression, and the ability to challenge authority.